Hi, welcome back. I just thought that uh, while I arrange the board and necessary things, I can come up with some other useful and creative videos. Then I just thought that uh, we had a discussion about uh, arranging the most important questions in certain chapters, chap chapter specific important questions for the university examinations. And today we are going to discuss chapter specific important questions for university examinations and we start with the shoulder complex. Of course, there are certain chapters like the shoulder complex, hip complex, etc., which carries a great weightage in examination. So we will discuss such important chapters first and then we move on to the other chapters. Yes, as I said, this video is all about most important questions from shoulder complex. And if you look at our Cynthia in our textbook, you can see that the shoulder complex is about 35 to 40 pages. And uh, if you look in the, our channel, there are 15 videos of 30 minutes duration. So if it will take around 6.5 hours for you to watch that entire videos. So it is possible if you don't have examinations in the weekend or after 10 days or 15 days. But of course, when you have examination in a as a deadline in front of you, you cannot refer back to the channel and watch entire videos from basics to the advanced or you cannot go through all the pages in the textbook there you need to focus on what which are the important things we bring forward today the most important things two things i want to tell you in particular do this after your first revision of the chapter entire chapter revision one at least one time do the entire chapter revision and focus on this one but if you're someone who has find it very difficult to understand and very difficult to score definitely uh studying these questions alone is enough for you to get an average to good marks right but if you want the top marks focus the chapter completely and i cannot specifically tell whether this will come for 10 mark or 15 marks we'll divide it into like a long essay which is usually 15 to 20 marks and a short essay 10 to 15 marks depends or 10 to 8 marks depends upon the universities and three marks to five marks that is a short note questions we have students our uh, viewers from uh, all parts of india and from outside india so the pattern of examination can vary but still the essence remains the same so i'm giving you more or less a generalized idea straightforward into the questions so the shoulder complex the most important questions will start with the long essay one the first one definitely you know the short short question in shoulder complex that is the static and dynamic stabilization of shoulder complex in my undergraduate studies, which was very long, um, just long eight years back, at that time, the question was static and dynamic stabilization. Or stabilization of glenoid humeral joint, it was a uh, generalized question because for us, the weightage of the mark was 20 marks, two essays. So uh, they asked, uh, they used to ask in a generalized manner. But before, but now I see the trend like uh, they don't ask in such a manner, they specify whether it is dynamic stabilization or whether it is static stabilization but if you are having 20 marks weightage for a long essay question definitely they can ask both the questions so this is a short short question and do not complete your shoulder complex discussion without specifically uh, studying this one and uh, being sure with this we have a video which clearly illustrates what is to be written in the examination just go through that and uh, uh, master this question or they can ask you as i told you either static or dynamic stabilization and the next thing that can come over there is define glen uh, glenoid joint or explain shoulder joint uh, along with its articular structures the labrum the ligaments the coracochromial arch and its uh, function or the motions possible there you can see that it is the more specific question they are asking either as glenohumeral joint then you have to write only about the glenohumeral joint if they are asking only as shoulder joint you just have to write the glenohumeral because that's what we refer to the glenohumeral joint right okay so you have to write in it the uh, basics from the basics etc for example if you look the chapter like a sternoclavicular acromioclavicular scapulothoracic we see that in glenohumeral joint the uh, discussion is vast we have a lot of topics to discuss there so you have to give weightage for everything don't just write the articular structures two pages and uh, ligaments half a page and motion just two lines 
Don't just write it as flexion extension. Remember in such a question, the weightage will be equally distributed. For example, you have two marks for articular structures, two marks for a labrum, two marks for a, um, what do you call the ligaments, two marks for orochromilars, maybe two marks for your um, motion. So you have to write each and every one, specify it and explain each one. Don't just go on explaining one thing and uh, give less weightage for the next uh, session subheading of that question because you might lose the marks. Even though they are not distributing the marks, and they don't write in the exam question paper like uh, articular structure two marks etc even though the, even if that's not the still the um, mark key that uh, the teachers would get would be definitely in that manner so focus on everything so these are the two important long essay questions that can come in uh, shoulder complex and uh, I don't think that any other questions can be asked for long essay expect, uh, expect in uh, any other uh, very peculiar situation right Yes, moving on to short essay, we have either it as an 8 mark or 10 mark, depends upon the universities or in our time it was a 6 mark question and there goes the first one. Any predictions? The scapulohumeral rhythm or scapulothoracic rhythm which is very important. You have to write the 2 is to 1 ratio and if you can draw some diagrams that you can get a very good mark. Remember starting in dynamic segregation it is easy to get marks because you can have the diagrams if dynamic is asked right so study the diagrams. So scapular human rhythm is important don't forget to mention the ratio that is the essence of that write uh, something uh, an introduction uh, one or two line introduction and just go on to scapular human rhythm. Definitely they can ask you shoulder joint because, but it is more or less anatomy question but sometimes anatomy and biomechanics questions are in reverse if uh, both these uh, topics you have to study in the first year. So shoulder joint or glenohumeral joint then the same thing that I mentioned from the starting to beginning in end of the glenohumeral joint you have to write. Of course I have seen static stabilization asked as a 10 mark or 8 mark questions. And finally, the ligaments of glenohumeral joint. That's very important. The capsular and non-capsular ligaments of the glenohumeral joint. That is very great, uh, important weight page, and you have to master that one. Okay. So here, in short essay, they can ask you scapulohumeral rhythm. They can ask you about shoulder joint. They can ask you what is static stabilization law. Dynamic may not have. They may not ask because that's worse to write. Static they can ask. Okay. Or ligaments of the glenohumeral joint. So these are the things that can be asked. What I did was, uh, um, in the meantime, I was contacting my students in different parts of India, in different states, and I collected the question paper from them, and from that, I just arranged this one. So it would be more or less a generalized one, which can benefit each and every one of you, right? Moving on to the short notes, there comes uh, three months or five months question. Again, scapulohumeral rhythm can be asked over there. Corocoacromial arts, important. Corocoacromela as is important. Sometimes you might think that it's just an anatomy question and you skip it, but that can it can be asked, right? Yes. Sternoclavicular jointage. This was a very important time in our time. I don't know. I I have not seen this uh, particular question in uh, recent time, but uh, I think in Karnataka some poor I saw this question asked. So sternoclavicular disc is also important. Next important thing is rotator cuff muscles. Don't go for biomechanics examinations by not studying rotator cuff muscles, thinking that it's anatomy and I'll study for that. No, rotator cuff is important. They can ask that in this one or that one. So rotator cuff muscles, we have a video on that. You can refer to that if you haven't so far. Next one is a pain of scapula. That is a very specific question. So pain of scapula, you cannot write anything in your memory if you do not know the answer correctly. So plane of scapula, angle of torsion, angle of inclination, these are very specific questions. In fact, I don't say that it should be asked for three mass question because it's it's very minimal. But still, you have to study it. Uh, if you are doing some MCQ questions or going for a practical or a viva, definitely this can be asked. What is plane of scapula? What is angle of torsion? What is angle of inclination, etc. And plane of scapula better draw one diagram because you don't have much to write. Right? Yes, intra-articular motions. Oh my God, we are not going to study this. I know that in some part of a country, there are, they focus a great on the intra-articular motions. What do you mean by intra-articular motion? That's the motions happening inside the glenohumeral joint, the sliding and gliding which happens during the shoulder flexion, extension, etc. We have a video on that. Focus, this is important, right? And then next one is the last one that I want to discuss is the role of serratus anterior or trapezius muscle. 
or the uh, uh, what do you call liver scab there is less chance that they can ask you liver scab mostly i have seen them asking what is trapezius and what is the role of serratus anterior in which one in the shoulder complex so that comes in the integrated part we have discussed uh, a few muscles in the integrated part of course but i don't think that we have discussed serratus anterior and trapezius definitely we'll discuss that in the coming videos so you can learn that or you can learn yourself and this are the most important that one that i want to tell you with respect to shoulder complex okay and always remember try to learn the chapter at least one time in a complete revision and later on focus and give more stress on this one do not just depend on osr pa was this one and these are not only to be asked you cannot predict that because things can change in time and uh, i cannot guarantee anything on that okay but this are the most important one and uh, up to 1995 percentage they can ask you something from this unless and until something goes wrong and let us hope that nothing goes wrong all the rest for your preparations do well and prepare well master biomechanics and score the best marks in biomechanics and let me know your best marks that is the greatest reward for me and in the meantime share the videos with your friends like the channel and kindly subscribe to if you haven't already good luck